Over 40 years ago, Jill Mocklin and Sheila Q set up Three Counties Dog Rescue, rehoming unwanted dogs in Hampshire, Berkshire and Surrey. Following the sad death of Sheila and an enforced move to Lincolnshire, Jill had to re-establish the rescue from scratch. 24 years on, the rescue, now a registered charity, is rehoming dogs and cats from their base in Lincolnshire and is covering an area of Rutland, Leicestershire, Cambridgeshire, Northamptonshire and Nottinghamshire. Since the charity started, near on 6,000 dogs have been rehomed and an average of 150 dogs per year are rehomed from the rescue. The rescue is also taking cats now as registered charities and other specialised charities cannot cope. Every animal is vet checked, microchipped, neutered and vaccinated before rehoming. In many cases, veterinary treatment and a period of rehabilitation is needed first. These are two examples. Tia came to us with her jaw fused together following an injury as a puppy. She was only able to open her jaw two millimetres and was skin and bone due to her obvious eating difficulties. Three counties paid for the extensive veterinary treatment she needed and this is Tia now catching up on a missed puppyhood. Jasper came to three counties suffering from an ailment called megaesophagus, which meant he had problems swallowing his food. He stayed in a three counties foster home who made him a special chair for eating, which you can see he took to wonderfully well. Jasper enjoyed a very happy life with his three counties foster home. Some of the dogs and cats go to foster homes when they are taken in, but three counties have too few of these and the majority live in kennels and a cattery. Three Counties doesn't own these, they pay for their boarding at a discounted rate. This arrangement limits what we can do at the kennels, which is a continual source of frustration. We would dearly love to buy the kennels and have many ideas of ways to use the premises and site to create income to support the rescue. Although, together with her team of helpers, Jill shows no sign of letting up in her quest to rescue unwanted dogs and cats. She's anxious to put the rescue on a sustainable basis for the future when she may be less able to support it, physically and financially. Starting a fund to buy the kennels is problematic because Three Counties already has to raise £150,000 a year to meet veterinary and boarding costs through frequent sales, fundraising and events and donations. The work of everyone associated with Three Counties Dog Rescue is entirely voluntary and unpaid. A sizeable lump sum would go a long way to enabling us to start up a separate fund to buy our own premises and ensure the great work of Three Counties Dog Rescue continues into the future. As you can see, there are many areas of the kennels that we would like to improve if we could buy the premises here. Along with the improvements we would like to make to the living quarters for the dogs and cats, we also have many ideas of ways to utilise the space here at the kennels, as we mentioned earlier. Some of these include continuing and improving the boarding kennels experience, improving the existing exercise areas by adding cover so that our volunteer dog walkers and the dogs themselves do not continue to get wet and cold while exercising. We have also had the idea of building a dedicated rehabilitation centre on site, which would include a hydrotherapy pool for the many dogs that come in in a very poor state of health. Also, the vets that we use have shown an interest in using the premises as a further outlet and a base for treatment in Bourne. 